Today is the 21st of September 2018, and per the original birthday of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, which is 1912, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah would have been 106 years if he were to be alive. And for that matter, we are here in Nkrofo, which is his original burial place and the original uh, birthplace to find out from the people how tourism is booming here and the general livelihood of the people who reside here. This is going to be the discussion on News Connect today on City TV. And I'm Akos Ejeni. I am very happy that uh, the nation is celebrating Osajifu today, 21st, as his birth date. But I'm not too happy about the arrangement of the whole town because I can say for sure that the whole people and the town has been neglected for so long a time. Even after independence, way after independence, Ghana is about 61 years now. And if you come and look at Nkrofo, anything that is here, you know, it does not depict the status of a first president hometown. Anyway, we are, we are happy about the celebration, the celebration. But what is the uh, profit of uh, the celebration? You see, when you come, I think you saw our road. The road is almost, uh, I don't know what you're going to say. So please, that's what you want to, how do you call it? the government, MPs and DCEs should come up about, about all these things. In Kofo, being the heritage town, we've decided to celebrate 21st September as the birthday of Osajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah to sell Nkrofo to the world, how the nation have neglected Nkrofo. There is no job. Education in Nkrofo is not in good state. Everything, together with the tourism place, being the best place or the first burial place of Osalifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, when you go there, you will see that the place is in a mess. At least the government should develop the place to suit the name of the first president of this nation. For him, it is a day to remember the neglect uh, the people of Nkrofo are suffering. Uh, what does the day mean to you too? Uh, I would have been happy uh, that the nation is celebrating Kamen Kroma, but where he comes from is very bad, I mean, in terms of development. So I'm not very happy at all that Ghana, Ghanaians are celebrating Kamen Kroma birthday. But when you come to his hometown, everything here is messed up. Where he was buried is messed up. And the current management, whenever we try to do something, then Someone will come and interfere that this thing belongs to me, this thing belongs to me, don't tie this thing and a whole lot of things. So I'm not very happy that they are celebrating the bad day of Kamen Kramwa because the development uh, in his hometown is very bad and where he was buried is very bad. Uh, what has been the attempt to, to get authorities to actually rise up to the occasion of, I mean, fixing this mausoleum, which should be a, a national attraction? The mausoleum, as I said for the first time, has been neglected. Any government who comes will just come and make some holabalu and then leave the place. People even managing the place are not being paid. It came to a time that one Madame Gertrude, who lives in the U.S. and who is also the daughter of the uh, died, uh, the chief who just passed on, Nanabru Machum, had to negotiate with the tourism authorities to have the place to, to run by herself and then be paying the people who will be working around that place. And you can see for yourself that the place is completely neglected. I had to even contribute some books to, uh, to make a library there. So is the place, the management of the place still in the hands of the woman? I think so, yes. He, he, she manages the place and she pays for all those working over there. And does she pay tax uh, to the assembly or, or is it just for the maintenance of the place? For the arrangement, the actual arrangement with the, with the assembly now I think that it's very well documented and the assembly too knows about it, that they have handed over the place to the woman to handle. And it's a pity. Look at the facility. A president of the, the first president of the Republic of Ghana, his hometown, his barrier place, nothing could be done by the authorities of the Ghana Tourism Authority. It's just too bad. But by the moment, I mean, what is the state of the management of the place? Do people come... Uh, the, what sort of people come there and I mean, are some money is taken from them? Uh, the management of the place uh, in terms of revenue, uh, we spend than what we get from the place. 
every uh, six months we have to paint the place and we have to renovate the place in terms of painting and uh, every month we have to clear the place and everything there. There haven't been any renovation or refurbishment in this place so I would like uh, people or uh, any stakeholder to also come and uh, help each white royalty company to maintain this place in terms of raising the wall and maintain the facility where Dr. Nkrumah's uh, family house is, where he stays whenever he comes to this place. Yeah. You two, what have you seen as uh, things that has to be managed well or rehabilitated I mean, over there? Yeah, since uh, there are many people are not coming here because the place is not being marketed by the tourism board itself. This is the, so the community itself has started that any time uh, getting to 21st, we celebrate this month for a week and we invite other people to join us to raise funds to do one or two things that will make the place a, a place to visit. And indeed, uh, the government and every government had continuously neglected it. There's nothing to write home about. If you go there, you see that everything, the, the wood and everything is dilapidated and it's getting rotten. Sir, you, you are the DC for Elembele, which happens to be the home uh, district of the, uh, the late uh, first president of Ghana. Um, how do you feel we celebrating uh, his birthday today and being the DC, uh, how do you feel? Naturally, I feel good about it, uh, except that uh, I'm not too happy as well, because uh, this man whose birthday we are celebrating is a great person in this country. Not just his greatness goes beyond, transcends the country to Africa and the rest of the world. And for his birthday to have been declared a national holiday tells you the impact that he made in the nation, nationhood of this country. But as you can see, there's nothing here in his hometown. A lot of people uh, have this feeling that, I mean, this is an untapped, I mean, tourism uh, area of this country. What should we be doing now to ensure that we actually benefit from the heritage of Kwame Nkrumah? Maybe to say even on top is an understatement. It's a huge tourist potential right here where we are standing. It's a place that should be attracting domestic, international, local, foreign tourists. Because uh, the name Kwame Nkrumah is a brand across Africa, across the world. I have been to the home site, boyhood site of WUP Du Bois who Kwame Nkrumah brought into this country as his secretary in Great Barrington. And you should see how the place, it has even become a UN heritage, heritage site. This has a huge potential. We know our um, tourism tribes on accessibility. Uh, there are several tourist sites that are so rich, but people are not patronizing because of accessibility. The road between here and uh, LM, uh, Isyama is a short uh, distance, I mean, road. Uh, why, why are we not doing anything to fix this road? That's a multi-million dollar question. This is just a seven kilometer road from the main highway to Telekubukazo, which ordinarily shouldn't be a, a problem to us as a nation, given the fact that this is the man whose birthday the country celebrates as a national holiday. But over the years, uh, the infrastructure has been left to rot away, and uh, the road itself was awarded on contract, to be honest with you, uh, but uh, we have had challenges. So what we have done as a government is to change a few things and then change the source of funding. The GMPC has taken over and then we are expecting that anytime soon this road should see a major rehabilitation. In fact, the idea is to do it asphalt from Izema to Telekubukazo and then continuing bitumen surface all the way to Mesosa, which is 28 kilometers. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's mausoleum right behind me and then Crawford Townships are tourism potentials waiting to be exploited. But the bad access road from Esyama to this particular community has become the discouraging factor why tourists are not actually visiting here. Checks with the center shows that attendance has actually reduced by over 80% because of the bad road. This has been News Connect on City TV and I'm Akwesia Jenim from Crawford.